Hello, my warriors. I want to welcome you to another video. Today, I am going to my P.O. box. You know how I used to go to my P.O. box a lot, and we used to talk about different things while I'm going. So today, uh, I really don't even know what to talk about. Because <laughs> we used to do this so much. Um... Let me think. Um, okay, you know what? This is what we're going to talk about today. I was watching what they call Side Chick Charlotte. Charlotte, I guess it's pronounced Charlotteville. Side Chicks or something like that. And they have a series of it on... Um, I think it's Roku because I use Roku. I'm sorry, guys. It's like the farther I'm back... The darker it looks, you know, me sitting up, I look like I'm doing push-ups on the stern wheel. That's my man, sorry. But let me see if I can fix this a little bit. Because I'm using a different one. Um, But the funny thing about the show, right, is, you know, I never knew that women... Okay, it was one particular girl on here. She was somebody else's side chick, right? And then she had her a side chick. You know, I'm like, what the heck? I, I, I don't get it. You know, and it's like, do anybody know the real definition of side chick? Because if I'm not mistaken, the definition I know of side chick is definitely keep your mouth shut and i think that's what it is because what most men do you know who has dang the light just changed so fast what most men do who have a side chick from what i'm seeing is they provide they side chick with money clothing cars um, with vehicles um, and I think a, a, a place to, you know their own place so I guess it's depending on you know what that person is willing to, to get because these days to keep somebody mouth shut you're going to have to give top dollar okay and it's so weird because I know some of these girls that I saw they are strippers already so if you look at it they making stacks on deck okay <clears throat> and i just never understood you know why would you want to be a side chick you know what i'm saying because in reality a, a side chick can't never fall in love i mean if he's telling you from day one i'm not leaving my wife then what makes you think that you're going to fall in love? I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting distracted because this number I see in front of me, it looked like a number came out already. Um, one, two, three, four, five. It's a pick five number. I'm like, dang, that number looked like it came out already like sometime in the last week or so. But back to our little side chick deal um the one girl she had a a girl she was i guess starting to see and she had a guy who she was dating here and there or seeing and he just you know she wakes up and he's in the bedroom you know he walks into the bedroom and I don't think her and the side chick was doing anything, but they were in bed together, not dressed, okay? And I'm like, you know, she's saying, what are you doing here? I ain't know that the guys, I mean, you know what? Let's take that back. You say, well, I was going to say, I didn't know that the guys have, um, oh, I hate this darkness. I don't know that the guys had keys to their house. 
you know what I'm saying? But this is the catch. If he helps you get this apartment, and shoot, I'm not finna run it. If he helps you get this apartment or whatever, whatever you have in your in your and he, you get it either in his name or your name, you know he probably if he helped you he gonna have a key. So why do you think that? So then another girl, somebody she was fooling around with, right? She had like somebody had a um, housewarming party or whatever, and the other girl you know somebody invited one of his homeboys invited him to the party and then she had a new dude there so it's like you know what i'm saying in this day and time you can't play games like that do you hear me next thing you know somebody dead okay like i told y'all i watched too much fatal attraction i be trying to okay i want to know what's happening you know, because it's like in this day and time, I mean, back in the day, you didn't hear as much murders as you hear now. So, you know, normally the guy kick your behind or the woman kick his behind. I barely heard of the women, but the guy normally kick her behind and be done with her or she'll stop doing whatever she's doing and they'll continue their relationship. But nowadays, it's like, if I can't have you, he can't either. Pow, pow, pow. Okay? Which is, let me get y'all right. Disclosure, that is not the right way. And I am not, you know, saying, oh, do it this way. No, I will not agree to that. I mean, I'm just like I said in one of my other videos, one thing I'm not going to agree with is a man putting their hands on a woman. I know some women tend to you know fight him but you know what just try to grab a holder or whatever the case may be but of course you want to fight you're going to fight for your life but and then some women that got so crazy because what have happened in the past they ready to pull a gun they were to do Medea style okay pull a gun out and say hey you ain't finna tear this down but going back to the you know the story of the Charlotte side chick or solid bill i can't think of how you pronounce it side chicks you just you you really have to be careful i mean i i just don't see being a side chick i i don't see how that can work because feelings you know if you got a heart and i think everybody has a heart that's the only reason they're alive you know if you got a true heart your heart beats just like everybody else so you're gonna love just like everybody else you know, some people have gotten hurt so bad that they don't love anymore. And, you know, that's what caused a lot of things to happen. So, I just look at, you know, life in general. Side chick is not, it's just, to me, it's just, I mean, it's to each his own. You know, I wonder, do these people act like this every day? Because, you know, when you're on a reality show... You have scripts and stuff like that. They say they don't, but they give them some type of script. Okay. Yes, guys, I look a hot mess. I look like I climbed right out of bed, which I did. Climbed out of bed through what? Well, that was the second time I went to sleep. So let's get that part right. That was my nap. And, you know, threw my clothes on because I had already got ready, you know, earlier when my boyfriend went to work. But, um, I just don't know. I just don't know how the men's, you know what I'm saying, can have a side chick, be done just, you know, did whatever with the side chick, and then they go home, and that woman wants attention when they come home. But how, I mean, some of these nasty men turn right around and they get that woman attention too because maybe they sex drive as high as could be, you know? I hope these people ain't racing. And that's what it looked like doing because they all three got the same type of vehicle. If they weren't going so fast, I would have put the camera on them so y'all could see them. But right here where I live in Orlando, Florida, they have had five I don't know if five car crashes or five deaths, but it's been five something. 
with these crazy people out here racing their vehicles. Honey, I ain't finna tell my stuff up for nobody. Yeah, I remember twice in my life I did do something stupid like that. I did. So maybe they're in the age group I was in when I did something stupid. And it was me and another person we was trying to race to his house. See who can get there the first. I mean, the fast. And it's so funny because I had a Mercury Sable. And I can't remember what he had, but we didn't have no fancy cars or nothing. We were just trying to get where we were trying to go. But, um, you know, it's just been too many people dying down here. I mean, we didn't race to the point where we put people in jeopardy. We didn't do that. I mean, kind of, but not like they're doing. You know, they're taking their own lives technically because of what they're doing the racing that they're doing but back to what i was talking about um these men go home to their women and they turn around and sleep with their women they'll come home someone probably say you know baby let me take a shower real quick let me get all this work off me or whatever off me and go brush their teeth, goggle, you know, get themselves cleaned up so everything don't, because half of the time, let me tell you, when you got kitty cat all over your face, it don't, unless you scrub it off, it's going to be there, okay? You know, and a woman, she get close to her man and getting ready to give him a kiss, she going to know, oh, that, that that's not me. You know what I'm saying? But some men, that's what they do. They think that it's cool enough to where they can do it and it not be an issue. But to me, it's an issue because that's how people catch different, how would you say it, um, sexual diseases because you're mixing her and whoever she was with and whoever she was with with and it go on and on and on so that's why i'm like okay they say oh yeah we use protection trust me those side chicks don't use protection because a lot of them side chicks get pregnant especially the ones on fatal attraction they sit there and they they don't really know they the side chick but they get pregnant from the guy and then he don't want the baby because he with someone but you know he want to have his cake and eat it too so what he end up doing is he's ready to take this woman out baby and all he don't care he trying to make sure he ain't on child support he's trying to make sure you ain't for the mess up this relationship i have where i am because i'm comfortable there but i have issues there and i think that's where side chicks came into the picture when these men were traveling and sometimes they'll be away from home a good period of time. They want them a chick in each state that they can, you know, bang, bang, bang. And, you know, still be able to heat, especially if they got a high sex drive. They want to be able to, you know, do what they do what they do. But instead, what they should be doing is doing like back in the olden days, um, when you get that horniness and you just sit there and you go back to your hotel you call your woman and these days the kind of phones we have she can do strip tea she can do anything you better sit there and watch her do what she do and then you can rub on yourself if you need to so hmm that's the way i look at it you know but men don't look at it like that you know women that i mean to each his own neither one of them look at it like that they feel that hey it's side chick or side whatever i'm trying to think that's a beautiful trailer i'm trying to think did it show any men there that were dating someone i don't think they had any men you know that was doing it it was just basically written as the woman is the side chick and she's dating a different man you know she had more than one man she was messing with and i guess women do that because you know they want to um you know they they want to have a variety so you think about it you have five men that you are seeing right and 
they break they they all five is breaking you off a grand a week because some of these men have good ass jobs like that so they're making that's five grand you don't have to do nothing you don't have to you getting paid just to you know be somebody cushion bag technically as well as you getting paid to um you know, to be at somebody back and call. Let's do it like that. And what I mean about cushion bag is, I don't know, maybe the men's are different from shows that I have seen. These men's when you know, a lot of men would just go in, you know, just like, I guess the shows I'm looking at is when you are the street girl who gives it up. And they pay you. I don't want to use it like that. I don't want to talk of it. And, you know, because I don't know who watching, so I want to watch my mouth. Um, <laughs> but anyway, you know, it ain't necessary. I just feel that. I just don't believe in side chicks. I don't feel that. Because somebody's going to get hurt. It's just like. You dating a guy and you know he's married he's saying he's never gonna leave his wife and you the mistress they're almost the same thing but you know the only thing I'm gonna say the only thing good not saying I agree with it but the only thing good about the side chick she getting paid for it the mistress not really getting paid for it you know what I'm saying you know he just messing with you because you're available to him whenever you need to be available. So it's like you just have to be careful. You have to be careful because um, today is all about feelings. You know, am I going to be a side chick? No. Am I going to be a mistress? No. Because there's no way I'm going to intentionally sleep with someone. Knowing that they're sleeping with someone else. Knowing like guaranteeing when you don't know you don't know okay but when you know you know uh-uh no sir you ain't gonna get that out of this right here no sir so anyway i'm gonna close it out right here i hope it might have helped somebody you know think about you know the relationship they're in you know in closing I just don't feel being a side chick is a good idea. I don't feel being a mistress is a good idea. Because someone <clears throat> is going to get hurt. I'm looking at someone getting hurt. You know, I'm not looking at the diseases. Which, that is important too. So, my point is, you still can get hurt from the diseases. You still can get hurt from whatever. You know, if he gets tired of you and know that you're going to run your mouth, then you got to worry about, is he going to take you out? So, the thing is, you know, if you dating someone and you find out that he's seeing someone else, I know it's hard. It's hard. But you got to just let it go. You got to let it go. Because either her, her posse, or whoever may come at you. And it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth your life. You know what I'm saying? When a person is at their wits meaning that somebody is doing something to hurt them that can take their life i guarantee you so much is going through their mind in that second just like you see how the movies when it's going in and then you see they can look back at their life and see um you know everything so my thing is it's not worth it so if you can get out of the situation get out of that situation it's not necessary but we might come back to it um i watched the whole show and you know it was crazy it's just like everyday boyfriend girlfriend type of show reality just like love and hip-hop you know it's just that these girls that most of them were strippers one of them was a singer but i think she was a stripper too so it always 
you know, to me, the girl singers that I've seen here recently, they started off stripping and then they want to come out of that because, you know, they say that you can, what is that saying? Can you turn, you can't turn a street. No, some you can't turn something into a wife. You can't turn a whore into a wife or something. I can't remember. I can't remember the exact wording of it. But you know what I'm saying? It, it's crazy because I'm, I'm looking at it was mostly in um like love and hip hop. You seen a lot of them. You know they want to come out of that because they don't want to be you know and shaking their behind for the rest of their life because that's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? You got to let anyone touch you. And look at what's going on right here in 2021. Or should I say what happened in 2020? I don't even think strippers was doing their thing unless they was doing it private. So it's like, you know, maybe that's why they came up with so many new ways of doing whatever. But anyway, guys, I appreciate everyone who hung out with me this long. Cause I'm at the post office. You know, it's always I'm a I'm a chit chat with you till I get to the posty. But I'm at the post office. I'm gonna check my mail, and I want to say to everyone, if you like this video, you want to talk more about it, leave it in the comment section. Um, give it a big thumbs up. If you are not a warrior yet, what you waiting on, hit that subscribe button, then hit the notification button to be notified of all videos. Along with share this video, let them know what your girl is doing. And give me some topics to talk about. You know, it's so much easier when y'all say, hey, talk about this. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, it give you time to freshen up and remember what you want to talk about. So... I guess we're going to call this Let's Talk About It. And it's going to be Side Chicks. Let's talk about it. So, oh, we're going to put Side Chicks. Let's talk about it. How about that? So, I appreciate everyone for watching. So, like I said, any ideas, put them in the comment section. Um, if you have a friend that's in this situation, put it in the comment section. You ain't got to give no names, nothing like that. But just let us know. Or let me know you know what's going on out there is there more side chicks now than it's ever been before or you know what's the case so thank you so much later